Hey, what's up everyone? This is Minnesota Mike back with you for another video. This is another one in my vlog series that I do through the Memphis Songwriters Association in conjunction with the blog that I write for them talking all about songwriting and what has worked for various artists over the course of a handful of years, whether those songs have been hits or not. So this latest kick that I'm on is called Poetry in Motion. And uh, these are all songs that started off as poems and then were later turned into songs. Songs. We started off looking at Lacey by Olivia Rodrigo, and uh, we also looked at last week the song Gold All Over the Ground by Brad Paisley. This week we have thus far looked at the song Riders on the Storm by The Doors, and now we're going to close out with The Hard Rains Are Gonna Fall by Bob Dylan. In my early exposure to Bob Dylan, my dad always drilled in my head that Bob is a poet in addition to being a songwriter. I talked in the opening about how difficult it is to be both and that some are good at being one or the other. When Dylan was awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature, there were many people who were confused. I was not one of them. In writing this particular blog, I wanted to make sure I distinguished between a songwriter who was poetic and a songwriter who actually wrote poetry. Again, Bob falls into both categories, but this song in particular did start off as a poem. Uh, I also want to uh, point out too that uh, when I initially conceived this blog, uh, Dylan and Jim Morrison were the two people that I thought of immediately, uh, and I uh, knew that I had to feature them even though they were the last two uh, that I looked at for this particular uh, blog and vlog kick. So let's talk about the lyrics of A Hard Rain's Are Gonna Fall. The song's verses begin with a repeating pattern asking where have you been and what did you see? Rather than trying to interpret what Dylan means in the lyrics, I want to focus on the narrative structure that he uses within the song. First, it strikes me as somewhat of a prodigal son type setup. Dylan, before he was officially born again, was not afraid to use bib biblical imagery within his songs. But the twist that differentiates this story uh, from that of the prodigal son is that the Dylan song has all the wisdom from his time away. I mentioned uh, earlier that the question set up by the father allows uh, uh, for the same structure, and it follows that same structure while the son uh, answers the son's answers switch up uh, the verbs that he uses. When uh, he was in the mountains, he stumbled. When he was on the highways, he crawled. It's worth noting, however, that the deeper he gets into his journey, the more it becomes about the horrors he saw and less about what he did. As a result of this horror, uh, the uh, recall becomes more repetitive. I've been out in front of a dozen dead oceans. I've been 10,000 miles in the mouth of a graveyard. And in the second verse, when he asks, uh, what have you seen? Every answer begins with, I saw. The same pattern follows with, what did you hear? Who did you meet? Uh, with, I heard and I met, uh, beginning every response. But uh, with the end of each verse, he concludes that it's a hard rain, it's a gonna fall. Uh, the symbolist imagery is evocative of uh, Arthur Rimbaud, Rimbaud, who uh, Dylan would later compare his love life to in the lyrics to You're Gonna Make Me Lonesome When You Go. Melodically, the song's verses alternate between E, A, and E, and then A, B, and E, while the refrain uses E, B, E, A, played twice, and then E, B, A, E. It's written in the key of E major, and therefore uh, the verses use a 1-4-1-4-5-1 one, four, one, four, one pattern. The refrain then uses a 1-5-1-4-1-5-4-1 one, one, four, one, four, one pattern. Uh, instrumentally, uh, there's just an acoustic guitar. Structurally, we've already talked a little bit about uh, the structure and the lyrics with the importance of repetition, but this song, like many Dylan tunes, uh, relies solely on uh, the verses and the refrain rather than the chorus. And the verses contain such vivid imagery that any chorus, full-on chorus, not just a refrain, would be overkill. I mentioned at the beginning of this analysis uh, the slight parallels between the prodigal son and this song. Poetically, Dylan borrowed uh, the call and response structure from Lord Randall by uh, Francis Child, and it fits this particular song very well.
Uh, as a closing note, it's really easy to look at Dylan's discography and call something like Highway 61 Revisited, Blonde on Blonde, or Blood on the Tracks his best work. And I do often. Uh, his uh, first album contained many covers of traditional folk songs, and it wasn't until his second album where this song appeared that he began to show his brilliance as a songwriter. But even with that, The Freewheel and Bob Dylan is uh, an excellent album to study. Uh, the best songwriters do uh, little things exceptionally well, and the freewheel and lyrics and imagery are accessible as a listener and as a writer. So even though Hard Rain is very poetic, uh, it's still a great one to study. And you can listen to it below. It is linked below. Uh, I am Minnesota Mike. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure that you uh, check out all of my other blogs, all of my other vlogs. Uh, my vlogs are right here on YouTube, uh, and my blogs are on the Memphis Songwriters Association website. Thank you so much.